Alrighty, it's uh, Saturday, February 18th. It's 2 o'clock in the morning and it's time for Comments X. Well, things are slowly getting back to abnormal. Uh, now that I've got the camera fixed, I've got my first uh, comments uploaded uh, from the Music Electronics Lab. And everything seems to be going okay. Uh, I made a bit of a mistake in terms of the alignment of the camera uh, yesterday, and that's why uh, up to my, uh, basically anything below a little bit of my chin is cut off, so I didn't realize that the uh, lens was uh, <coughs> different than the uh, camera that I had been using, so I placed it in the exact same place, assuming that the uh, that the pic the, the the sort of the, the the field of view would be the same and it wasn't it was a lot uh tighter focus so I've, I've had to move the camera back to get the same focus that I had before um that being said uh I after I did that um I went food shopping again uh to TNT to get uh, my, my basics and then from there uh, uh, I did uh, the sort of the uh, more work on the uh, YouTube channel selector and the way it's going to work out is that right now I'm doing uh, something known uh, doing it in wiki in a, in, in a, a wiki system uh, but the, the wiki system that I that I have I think I'm going to work on it to see if it can work to see if I can do something similar to, uh, uh, like this for uh, an Android app. Let me know if you think uh, a YouTube channel selector uh, Android app or a phone app would be useful. Uh, I'm not too sure if it would because uh, I know there's a variety of different ways of doing things. But the thing is, if, if you have favorite channels you want to go back to again and again, uh, a, a, a YouTube channel selector would be the way to go. Uh, I went by uh, the Nerds RL again. Uh, that's where I, I typically go by there on a daily basis, along with uh, Right and Proper Ladies, and there are several others that I go by on a daily basis uh, just to sort of check out and see what they're doing. And uh, it seems like the Cassandra has sort of uh, come to terms with uh, her working. And at the end of each of her vlogs, uh, now I think what I say about about fifty percent of her fifty percent of the time in her blogs are the sort of the uh, the Dave Allen at large segment, so we we call it Cassandra at large uh, uh, segment uh, is near the end where she uh, sits down and has a little chat with uh, her audience, and that's pretty. That's actually pretty cool. Uh, what she does need is she needs one of those uh, uh, short glass drinks, you know, with ice in it. <laughs> A little cigarette. That's that's the, the Dave Allen thing. When they used to, they always do. They always had this. They always had the cigarette. They had the glass. Uh, uh, back then they were allowed to uh, smoke and drink on TV. But uh, <laughs> I don't drink or smoke, so maybe you could put Kool Aid or something on and get one of those uh, candy cigarettes. That would be a cool thing to do, maybe <laughs> just for fun. Um, and then. Uh, from there, I went to. What I always do is, and this is sometimes I always look at the comments. Uh, pages have, have uh, from particularly from the old uh, style of, uh, sure, the older style of uh, the YouTube page that you use, so the classic YouTube page. Uh, you have that comments where a lot of people, you know, uh, they essentially spam it and they say, "Come to my channel and take a," you know. So I do every once in a while go and, and take a look at uh, those channels uh, in addition to the uh, featured channels listed on the pages of those who have that. And I found one uh, called uh, sure, For Sure Blogs. Uh, apparently they're in, uh, in or around Hartford, Connecticut uh, because she goes to these uh, Katy Perry and uh, I can't remember who else she went to. The concept they were in Hartford, Connecticut. The uh, so I'm assuming she's in the relative vicinity of Hartford, Connecticut, 
and these vlogs show basically her summer. They're short vlogs. Pretty interesting. Uh, it, it, it depends on the type of person you are. If you like watching other people's lives, uh, then that's interesting to you. If you're not that type of person, then it's probably not going to be for you. From there, I went on and took a look to see if uh, Sonia was going to be able to do her uh, her uh, bit for th bit for Thursday on Right and Proper Ladies. At first, I didn't see her stuff on her channel uh, on the Right and Proper Ladies channel, so I thought maybe something happened with the camera again. So then I just checked her uh, her YouTube channel, and she had it on there. It just hadn't been posted to the Right and Proper Ladies uh, channel. That's okay. That, ha that happens. You know, I don't. I don't post that to, to the to the right and properly. I sort of put it in the header, and then you find it along along the side. Uh, and that's sort of the other thing I use to go and find channels. Where is that little side suggestion? As you're watching a video, there's a whole uh, list of uh, on the side there. There's a whole list of uh, suggestions that you can go watch, and uh, I sometimes jump off of there. Uh, and what, so what Sonia did was uh, she had uh, sung, uh, or sort of really uh, did a sort of like an air guitar or air concert uh, of Bohemian Rhapsody, which was pre was pretty cool. So that was that was my time around YouTube yesterday. Uh, I said I did a, I did more cleaning and I went food shopping, so there wasn't a lot of time online. Uh, rather, uh, sort of a, a short day yesterday. Today uh, I have to do more cleaning. It's gonna this weekend. This a whole weekend is going to be dedicated to cleaning. It's sort of a pre-clean, pre a pre-spring cleaning, uh, to sort of get my place a little bit back into shape. What ended up happening for me is that uh, uh, when I study, I have a hard time uh, getting off the computer and pulling away from my research. So the place gets rather rough. And every so often, I just sort of have to break away and say, okay, give me a couple of days and just do a couple of days of straight cleaning where uh, I just go through everything and, and throw it as much as I possibly can. And I'm aiming to throw it another, pr make, I'll probably make three trips to the garbage bin this weekend, so. Uh, and then, uh, what else happened? As I was uh, sort of clicking around and doing my little bit and adding to to my selector, I found this one channel uh, on Tasha TV, uh, and then she was doing a bit on school uh, on cyberbullying, and then from there, uh, there was something a link in her on her page that uh, that took me to Splash Photos, and Splash Photos has uh, a, a link to someone else, another girl who had committed suicide on on December thirteenth uh, on December thirty first uh, of two thousand eleven. And it was assumed, it was stated that was this was due to separate bullying or, or bullying in school. And the thing is, is that I started thinking to myself, I look back, and I, I tried to contact John Green about the project for Awesome. Instead of just doing it once a year, there's more need out there. Let's try to see if we could do it more often. Uh, but he never replied back to me, and apparently I found out that he doesn't reply to people. Uh, so, I, yesterday I started, I, I, I didn't, then before I started a project uh, where uh, nerds can hang out and not feel alone, not feel alone that they're you know they're sort of isolated and all by themselves. To see that there are other people out there who are like them. Uh, that's a hard you know it, it's a hard thing. It's a hard thing at any point in time to sort of real to, to swallow that, that when you, when you come to that realization that you are a nerd, uh, it is a hard thing to do to deal with. Uh, but there is a a, a brighter side to it. Be a brighter side to it, uh, and I think it, I think it's probably it's harder when you're younger than to, to do that because you you have a sense of image you, you, your set your sense of self image hasn't been that destroyed yet so you think you are something more than you are. Uh, but anyways, it, it, I went and looked back to check and said you know bullying has been going on since the 1950s. It's not. The you know the the, the so some of the portrayals where it's this big fat kid in this in the school who's all scruffy and going around beating people up, uh, the the bullying I think that that has that's sort of being ignored by society, uh, and where the real problem is isn't coming from 
that type of boy, but coming from uh, the football stars, the stars of the school, the, 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 from the kids who have power, right, and know they have power. This is where a large chunk of the bullying is coming from. And these people, these kids have the power because their parents usually have power in the community. They either have power or influence or money or both. Uh, and so they have things that other kids don't have. They have the cars, they have the this, they have the that. Uh, they may be, you know, uh, you know, a lot of them are really good looking. You know, they're, they're, the, they're the cute guy. They're, the, you know, the hot stud. They're the the hot babe, you know, the, the, the popular girl, you know, everyone wants to go out with her, you know, the whole bit, that all that thing gives people, you know, as a, they call the social ranking in school. Uh, and if you're at the bottom of that social ranking, uh, the, ki the kids at the top, along with their parents, and because the parents and the kids are who they are, the school administration often backs these kids up when they enforce the social ranking in school. But without that social ranking, their status in society is nil. And this is the core of cyberbullying. And until this is addressed, and it never is addressed, it's not not even when you see these cyberbullying ads and these you know these campaigns that. Oh, bullying isn't cool, and you know uh, anyone who's the, who does cyber bullying is a loser. Well, but the thing is, is they don't realize that these are, it, it's it's the kids who who have the power are doing this. It's it, and it's ingrained in the structure of the school itself, and it's supported by the staff. It's supported by the teachers. It's supported by the principals. It's supported by the the parents who have the power. And so, you know, once again, you know, I don't, and, and this is sort of shown true because you're still seeing kids commit suicide, and I've t talked to uh, some of my friends who uh, now have their own kids in school, they're, in, they're, in, they're, in, they're teenagers and stuff like that, uh, and they're, some of their kids are being bullied, and when they go talk to the principal or bring it up to the school board administration, nothing's ever done about it. And the only solution is is to move the kid from one school to another school. And that's that's still beyond suicide. If the kid is not going to put up with bullying in terms of uh, just sort of go through it and you know deal with it the best way he can, uh, the only option is to move the kid to another school. That's the only option that's available today. E even with all this whole cyberbullying campaign, I mean, there's not much there that there in the cyberbullying campaign, anyways, but. Uh, uh, most of the people don't fall through with it because uh, the, the the structure isn't there. The, the 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 cause of the bullying will never be acknowledged because of the people who are involved in the cyberbullying. You know that the, the whole political structure that we see today is based on cyberbullying and the point principles of bullying. I mean, are, are, are all these people from the politicians on down to the teachers? Uh, to the unions, all these people, there, are they ever going to admit to cyberbullying and change their ways? <laughs> Don't think so. Don't hold your breath for it. So the question is then, is that you got all these kids committing suicide. Well, how do you resolve that? Well, you can't, if you can't deal with the bullying, maybe you can deal with the, the kids who are dealing, you know, who are feeling suicidal. And I watch these groups like Nerd Fighters and the, the, a group of nerds that are, hung, that are hanging around for anime con, there's tons of nerds out on YouTube. Tons of us out here. And, you know, that's, I mean, I think nerds on YouTube are more popular than the popular kids. You know, we've got more, <laughs> this is where we hang out, this is our, this is our domain. And there's no reason why all the nerds on YouTube and you could check check that out. I have this whole they have this playlist called Geek All the Year. And I'll put a link to it in the down bar, in the description part. Uh, we have enough nerds on the internet that we could help other nerds who aren't able to who are feeling insecure about their who they are, that we can stop the suicides. 
We can do it. There's enough enough of us on YouTube that we can do this. And I say, just you know, it doesn't have to cost anything. It doesn't have to, you know, we just let them talk us, come and see who we are on the internet. So I have in good geek area. If you are geek on YouTube, and you're and you're happy with who you are, if you call yourself a nerd or nerd or whatever, whatever you want to call yourself, if you are one of those people, if you're an anime con person, if you're you know a comic con or, or or a sci-fi con, anyone who goes to those cons who are functionally nerds or geeks or whatever you want to call us, come to Geek Olia and identify yourself. Say, I am a nerd. Tell us what type of nerd, what, what, what cons do you go to? The more of us that are identified there and, say, and that we can sort of go out to these kids in school and say, here we are, come to this list here, then they've also set up a Facebook page for it, for Geek Olia. Uh, we can stop, we can stop the suicides. Because th these kids are feeling all by themselves. They say, oh, I'm the only one who feels like this. Well, no, you don't, they're not the only one who feels like this. We have anyone who who's lists themselves on, as a nerd or a geek on the in, uh, on YouTube knows this, that they're not by themselves. Because we see all of the people, you know, you see how many people who are like us out, out there. So is it, if you're a geek or a nerd, and you've got geek or nerd in your title or whatever, post a link to this uh, geek or the list. Post a link to the Facebook p uh, page for people to like. Uh, post your uh, video comments. I've, o I've opened the comments on the Geek Olia. There is no restriction to post. I don't have to approve it. It goes right to the list. Uh, I will uh, sort of bookmark or, or add to the list any uh, uh, anything dedicated to the, any, any sort of geek identification. I will put in the Geek Olia list, including my original uploads. Uh, as it lists make a community of us and I call it, if you want to give it a, a title, give it Project for Awesome 365 right, that way we can sort of leverage off the, of the uh, off of the uh, the tags uh, Project for Awesome uh, and we want to do this 365 days, this is not a one a once a year thing, or an annual thing this is 365 days a year we're going to be out there, we're going to be trying to prevent these suicides w the goal is if we could if we could go for next year for two th for 2013 we see no more suicide postings no more RIP, rips in terms of suicide for uh the geeks who have committed suicide that will be an achievement and that's what i want this is not sort of you know trying to take something away from john green this is there's enough of us out there to stop these suicides it doesn't have to happen anymore. If we stand up and say, you know, here we are, then it'll be, it, we could sort of start resolving the problem. So anyways, uh, I, I will leave this up for a bit, you know, all day. I say, contact me if you're interested in this. Uh, if the, 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 the title uh, should have P4A, right, P4A, uh, and then hyphen 365. So it's Project for Awesome, 365 days a year. Uh, and it's, it's designed uh, to stop the suicides. And we're not trying to, you're not trying to stop cyberbullying. Forget about that. We're here to let g other geeks know, anyone else who is an outcast from society, anyone who's feeling rejected, that there are more of us out there and they're not alone. This is a, this is a statement of that we, that, kids who feel this way are not alone. So P4A 365 is the announcement that you can send out to people. Make your own if you want. The group is Geek Olia, and again it's going to be the subscription bar here. The Geek Olia has uh, a Facebook page that will have the link to it in there as well. So uh, let's get out there people and uh, start stopping these suicides. Alright. I'll see you later on today.